How y'all doing? Old pops here. It's about ten minutes after six. Thanksgiving evening. It's been a right quiet day. Me and Jilly darling spent it all alone. I'm smoking my yellow bowl that I found at, uh, I don't know if you can see the little emblem on it or not. It's not that it really matters, but it's a nice smoking little pipe. Anyway, it's just been a lazy day, rainy day, slow, slow, drizzly rain. Been just under 50 degrees outside. Anyway, I, uh, Told old James that I would uh, do a first impression on this uh, L.J. Paredes Thanksgiving Day that he sent to me. It's a uh, it's a Berlin, Virginia aromatic crumble cake. It's got a citrus and fruit topping on it. It's kind of a cube cut. Actually, it, it is a cube cut. But it's, like I said, it's been pressed into a crumble cake. It's got a, an anisette or a Anisette, anise, licorice, and rum, and a citrus fruit. They say citrus. It's got more than just citrus in it. It's got a citrus fruity kind of thing going on in it, but it's got more than just citrus and it's got some other kind of fruit in there too. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's raisin or or plum or something, but it's got another kind of fruit in there too. Jilly woke up this morning. Back was hurting her pretty good. Gracie got up and mini me. She went and jetted off with a bunch of friends, went and had Thanksgiving with them. I thought on the holidays, you know, around this time, Jilly always loved Thanksgiving. She always does. She always has, let's put it that way. 
I thought to myself, I said, there's nothing, nothing better that she likes than a good old Thanksgiving meal. She likes it. She likes the, she likes it all. But I know she disappointed our sons in Australia. Our oldest daughter is living on the other side of the state. And Our middle daughter lives in Virginia with our grand, two of our grandkids, and our other two grandkids had plans going other places, and Dan had plans. Of course, we got, well, I know if I'm, I know it, I could tell you the whole rundown on it, but it makes it sound like such a sad sob story that we, we heard from them all, but I had to text them to get a reply, but it, it, it makes it sound like a sob story, but it's not like that, seriously, it's not. We did hear from them. Well, it was just me and Jill here today, so I figured, you know, I'm, we did have a roast chicken. It was a good little old bird. I figured we'd eat us a piece of that chicken and maybe a, a baked potato. Might make a salad or something. Then again, she got up and she said, I'm going to go get in the shower. Well, it ain't like she didn't need a bath. <laughs> So I thought to myself, I said, well, she's in yonder trying to take her a bath. Let me see what I can go whip up. So I chopped me up an onion. Fried me up some bacon. chopped up the bacon, opened up a couple cans of Lux Pinto beans. And my pipes are gurgling. Dumped the uh, chopped onions and bacon bits, fresh bacon bits in that can, in those two cans of Lux Pinto beans and put them on to simmer. Peel me some potatoes right quick. Just a few. Made up a small batch of mashed potatoes. Opened some canned corn. And uh, took some butter and some sour cream and made a, a roux. Make some cream style corn. Open me a can of flaky biscuits and pop them in the oven. Then I made some uh, <laughs> two different kinds of potatoes. You done that starchy meal, man. Uh, made some, uh, opened up a, a big can of yams. And she loves them yams. But I put some uh, brown sugar and some honey and some nuts and 
some raisins, some cranberries, in that big can of yams, and put them in a casserole dish and stuck them in the oven. And then I pulled them out and I salted the top of it. With a little allspice in it, a little uh, vanilla in it. Before I baked it, and then, like I said, salted the top of it just a least little bit. Had uh, had some asparagus spears. Didn't have time to make no uh, dressing, but but I did all that while she was taking a shower. I mean, I got it going real quick. I had a grill that set across the top of uh, the baking sheet. I set the casserole that the sweet potatoes was cooking on on a baking sheet, and then I had a little grill that set across the top of it and put the asparagus spears on each end of it so that they could bake in the oven at the same time. And it all did, got, got done real quick. Real quick. Time she got out of the shower, everything was sitting, <laughs> sitting out there on the counter, waiting on her. She come out and said, "What in the world have you done?" I told her I said, "Happy Thanksgiving." I told her, "I told her I said, if I knew anything about you, I know that there's three things that you like." better than anything number one you like thanksgiving number two you like to eat number three <laughs> you like it when you don't have to cook it <laughs> oh so we we went in there and we uh, fixed us a plate well, we fixed this plate, and then we took it in a den and sat there and watched the bears and the lions game. Just me and her. Turned out the bears won it by one point. I was for the bears, and she was for the lions. I don't think she cared one way or another who won it. She just pulled for who I was pulling against. Just to mess with me. And then we both sat there while well, we both watched a couple of episodes of uh, The Rifleman. And then she went back and got her another helping of those uh, sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'd gone to the grocery store earlier that morning and while I was there I picked up a a little box of the private select from Kroger, the private select candy that they, uh, this dark chocolate uh, squares with uh, caramel inside them, and they got roasted coconut on the top. So we sat there and ate a few of them. And after the rifleman went off, we both sat there. <laughs> Sat there in our uh, in our recliners, and both of us fell asleep. So we had us a little nap. About that time, Gracie comes in from her little escapade with her friends, and she wanted to know what kind of candy is there. It's uh, ours. It's ours. It's our kind. Our kind of candy. What'd you bring us? Did you bring us some pie? Did you bring us some banana pudding? What'd you bring us? What? Oddly. Oddly. That describes this whole day. <laughs> Oddly. <laughs> Anyway, it's 
taking her another pain pill. Her, mat, her back oh, must be hurting get again. She can't get comfortable. Anyway, James wanted me to do a shooting a video. James, that's okay. It's all right. James was wanting me to do a first impression on this tobacco, this Thanksgiving Day tobacco. I told him I would. In a gurgling pot. <laughs> it ain't gurgling no more. Well, James. L.J. Peretti's Thanksgiving Day. They only make it for a limited time during the year. And it's pretty good! I hope y'all had a nice Thanksgiving. I did. I had it uh, sitting here alone with my wife. I learned two things. I learned that uh, I learned that uh, family is who you're with, and we don't need to be no house full of people. You can be happy. By yourself. Or you can be happy with who you're with. You can make yourself happy. Or you can make yourself miserable. Or you can be content in the situation that you are in. Number one. And number two. L.J. Peretti... Thanksgiving Day. It's pretty good. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm old pops. Much love.